Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today this is the Moto Z Android Oreo 8.0 update. Let's get started. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to update a recent update currently from Motorola. My Moto Z got recent update. Now this version is going to turn this one into Android 8.0.0. See, that one it mentioned. So we're going to download it and let's see what's the preferences and what's the difference between the 7.1.1 Android Oreo and this current one so let's press the download so most probably this one's gonna take some times approximately 15 minutes onwards or less than so it started the system update downloading the software from the Android Oreo so we'll see what's the changes between the settings, the submenu, the app drawer, and a lot of a lot of things. So this total one thousand four hundred four point three MB, and you guys got some Moto Z, which is I bought this one eight months ago. It's kind of kind of so late, but it's well appreciated, and it's kind of it's kind of nice to have this Moto Z, which is came up with the Moto Mods. So most probably, those guys not seen the Moto Mods. This is the Moto Mods, which I have the JBL Sound Boost speaker right here, which is you can directly attached on the back itself because it has a magnetic proprietal pin at the bottom and it creates loud sound loud music without any connectivity connections that you have to do no more bluetooth no more nfc just snap it on the back and direct connections will come up the model mods um, currently it has more and more versions that you can attach on the back like the insta projector the in cpu battery pack now it has the Amazon Echo mods attachment and also some Kodak pin insta share. And let's see what's with the Android Oreo So most probably guys this Moto C is still available on the market when it has a bundle of freebies that you can get from your um, local suppliers which is nearby to you. It just ask about some pre products like this one which is the Moto the JBL Sound Boost speaker and which I told you before some options is there like you can change the back Moto style shell, the NCPU power grid and which I have the sound boost. This one is the power bank, and this one is the Moto InstaShare projector. So about 13 minutes left, and we're on the go. Good thing I got a 4G LTE connectivity Wi-Fi, and let's see what's going to have some changes in terms of um, software and update. Most probably this Moto C that I bought eight months ago um it has a 4k capable to shoot videos at 60 frames per second so that's the reason i bought this one and the thing is this is quad hd amoled display not an lcd type and it is a 1440p resolution and the storage is kind of awesome not a base 16 gig this is a 32 gig with a 4 gig 
RAM and powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 which is um, from last year's top of the line also because current year current year top of the line is the Snapdragon 845 which you can find in most flagship recently like the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus and some Sony variants and some HTC so this still is the packaging which is I keep on um, try to keep it and try to keep it look good in shape most probably once we hit thousand subscriber all of these things and most probably I'll try to give a giveaways in terms of subscription sharings and who subscribers I'm going to get more shares mainly I can do some giveaways in future so we're almost running 500 MB less 1000 MB to download less than 1000 MB to download and we'll see what we're going to see some changes and experience between the 7.1.1 Android Nougat to the current downloading process of the Android Oreo 8.0 experience here in the Moto C so I'm pretty much excited so as you guys so we can see the difference and also, be I am going to expect some quite changes in terms of camera aspects. Most probably, we're going to have some AI stickers, AI or AR. We'll see if it's capable enough. Like um, some previews, mid shift, mid range, um, flagship mobile device, like you can see in Huawei. And yeah, Huawei definitely having most of the AI technology currently right now and most probably after two weeks or less than two weeks I'm going to have my Huawei P20 Pro so watch out for that unboxing videos and some of the highlights I'm going to prepare on that I'm pretty much excited I'm already done a request from Huawei here and they're going to send me the demo model of the Huawei P20 Pro so watch watch that out okay about six minutes left now we're running 600 MB downloading keep on downloading I'm pretty much excited about what we're going to see from no get 200 Oreo because um and I see a lot of uh, update which is even though the Mate 10 which is I have um, still didn't upgrade for Android Oreo but the EMUI experience of Mate 10 which I have is 8.0 and still a lot of uh, upgrades it has like the AI effects, AI backgrounds the bokeh was totally amazing in terms of um, having dual cameras in my Huawei Mate 10 so let's see w what this thing has So if you guys are aware, um, you can't see me holding and having a Samsung Galaxy device. Even I got my Samsung Galaxy S9, which is still, I didn't open it because I'm kind of busy from past few months, almost two months running. I'm kind of busy. A lot of things is there in terms of uh, work uh, responsibilities, which I need to handle it. And of course, I'm not letting you guys leave my channel. And thank you for all the support that you have. For the views the likes and the shares that you're having keep it up keep continue so I'll keep continue updating my channel from time to time normally as a promise we're going to have an unboxing review each and every weekend but from the past two months running I'm kind of busy and yeah uh, all this stuff which is on pending I'm going to unbox it for you guys a lot of thing is there waiting uh, from our supplier and some sponsor which is I'm having and I'm getting um, in our lineup we have the Huawei P20 Lite yes I have it also 
and hopefully once I get the Huawei P20 Pro including the P20 variant so I can compare the, those three styles and I'm going to show it to you guys and what else I got some lot of mid-range mobile device that going to receive um, yeah from Sony yes I got a lineup for Sony and also I got lineup from yeah Nokia also start to communicate to me and try to get some uh, model device which is from Nokia itself um, hopefully we'll get some uh, confirmation from them and then we can see how Nokia are start to grow right now starting from last year end of the quarter really Nokia start to build up his name again and having a great comeback when they started to do the Android version of the OS and yes I'm got pretty much excited to having all the device we're going to unbox in a couple of weeks and yes promise to you guys giving to you all the details most probably we're going to start from Huawei P20 P20 Pro P20 Lite these three models you have to wait for it and see the unboxing and some reviews so about 800 MB left um, already done I'm sorry so approximately 400 MB 600 MB left and we can see what's the changes within the Android 7.1.1 Nougat and to the current update which is the Android Oreo 8.0 so 900 MB running so basically guys maybe you will ask me why I get the sound boost speakers because normally I can say to you guys and I can share to you I love music in a different type of genre which is everything every music I, I love to hear and love to play which is this JBL sound boost is totally an awesome mods from the Moto C and some Moto C to play because it's give a loud sound no need to bring heavy speakers big speakers attach this one at the back and you can have a loud music itself this is totally a great and thumbs up for the Moto which is kinda looking for the upcoming Moto the G, G6 the G6 Plus hopefully there's some mods also that can attach to that models and most probably we can wait also for the Motorola to get contacted and once they launch the product also here we're going to see how the difference and how, what's the difference between the Moto C, Moto C to play, the Moto C2 Force, and the Force 2, which is the Shattered Troop um, front uh, device. We'll see a lot of things, a lot of things going to come up, and pretty much excited to all that um, communications that we had from the companies also and from the supplier itself. And yes, we'll see to it and. Hopefully I can get some um, people I get communicated will try to do some editing and some video enhancing and learning and how to do with it because myself kind of hard for for me right now it's because I'm alone and all those things I'm getting communicated to all these companies which is I get the devices like from Huawei from Motorola from Nokia pretty much excited about the Nokia lineup and this one um, yeah Moto even the Motorola I can share to you guys even the Motorola is not having those infinity display infinity edge display those um, those kind of um, market scheme that you can see found in uh, Samsung you can found on right now the current uh, Huawei device some rounded infinity display also some 2.5 3.5D display curved display Motorola stick on it because anyhow Motorola was the first devices to get connected as a mobile device and they having lots of fit features which is like this one the motor mods connections and some portability has it all and in terms of um, 
batteries also no having any issues from the Moto Moto company and the Lenovo company it's now tied up it's a Moto Lenovo company um, FYI or not so basically Motorola got their one on one connections between Lenovo and Motorola so that's why you can get some great design specs for mobile device and the price is not not so high in terms of yes you know it from the big company so flagship starting smartphones is less than less than less than seven hundred dollars like that so it's portable so in terms of specs wise yes you can see a lot of things like from other brand so because for me it's not the price it's not on the hype it's the specs which is if you got the good specs which is reasonable for that price we'll go for that we're not going to get like no fun intended like you can have those 64 gig and it's high price more than a thousand dollars it's not reasonable and there's no expandable memory card it's not right but it depends on personal preferences I mean so now it's as you can see 1320 MB downloaded and less than 80 MB balance less than a minute then we can see what's the update going to be and looking forward so 48 seconds left Twenty four seconds left. And most probably this one going to restart and once it's restart, let's see what's the difference. And I'll going to come back and upload. I'm going to see what's what's changes between the app, the software, camera, maybe some added features is there. And there we go, very fiery update. Okay guys, that's been it. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you in the update portion of this one.